Okay, today we're doing another future spouse. This time we're asking also what is stopping them from being in your life right now? So what are they going through right now that is stopping them from coming into your life? Okay, um, we also have, as always, my fun words. We have charms, we have the pendulum. I also have this fun little deck from one of my friends. Um, it's just like a cards full of nonsense. So we're gonna see what that also has to say. Okay, um, also we have dice. Okay, so we have one, two, and three. So go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to take your time. And we will get started with group one. Okay, so we're gonna do the dice first. So we have wands, and then what we do is we eliminate the lightest to darkest. So we have 8 plus 6, so that's 14. Okay, so we can leave them all, and we have 14, which is the king of wands, okay? So the king of wands tells me that they're kind of like someone that people gravitate to it might not always be business wise or something like that but just their personality alone they have like a big personality um if you know them you would be able to describe them as their personality you know how it's just very uh well known about this person people tend to gravitate towards them because they are very themselves right um they could also be maybe looked at as a player maybe only because people gravitate to them and so therefore they're going to know a lot of people they're going to have more connections they're going to have probably more relationships as well you know what i'm saying um it doesn't mean that they're a player but they might be seen that way only because and this could be a girl too i know player is normally like for a guy but they're just very liked People just really like them. And so naturally, people are also going to crush on them. People are also going to like them as much as you like them. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's just kind of to help, you know, let you know kind of their personality. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Okay. Are we in the camera here? Okay. Um, okay. First of all, I feel like they probably have light hair, blonde hair. It could also be white hair, okay, for in like the older crowd. Um, only because like it's really shining, they're like, look at this hair. Uh, also, we have a lot of yellow over here as well. And this is interesting because both of these cards, I sometimes also associate them with like letters because this one is a big T. And then this one could be an I and an LL. Okay, or at least like an LL, like a double L could be in their name. Um, and then also, if you flip him around, it looks like a P. Okay, so I get a lot of letters for some reason out of these two, if that helps you. Okay, um, I do feel like right now they are pondering something. They might be thinking about doing a change, they could be thinking about leaving a relationship, they could be thinking about saying something to you, but they're in a kind of like a standstill and they're kind of weighing out all of their options. They're kind of trying to like put themselves in different situations and then try to like imagine the, the outcome, if that makes sense. Like they, I feel like they're at that place where they kind of want to make the smart decision instead of letting like life just flow. I feel like that's kind of where they're at right now, and maybe that is why we got the King of Wands as well, because the King is obviously, like, very, um, decisive. They know what they want. They make good decisions. They didn't just let life flow. They take charge, and I feel like maybe that's where they are right now. Like, they've decided to sit on the throne and to really think about where they're going. So maybe this crossroads road, that they're at right now is what's going to lead them to you. Because maybe it just wasn't in their future before because they really weren't thinking about it. They were just kind of like, yeah, whatever, like everything's great. And they just like go with 
whatever life throws at them, whatever person gravitated towards them. And maybe for once they're realizing the people that gravitate towards me might not always be good for me. Maybe I should look for that person as well. Does that make sense? Let's see what else we have. Okay, so horse right away in general just tells me that they're they're a powerhouse, just like I was thinking, just like they maybe they weren't before, maybe they thought they were because you didn't have to even work very hard. People just offered you things, you know. Maybe for once they're realizing I have control over my life. I can make these decisions. I am strong. And I can either choose to pull this wagon or not. You know, I can choose to pull this weight or not. I'm going to choose what weight I pull. You know, um, it also could mean like actual horses. Maybe they actually work with horses as well. I'm not necessarily concentrating on the fact that it's a five of cups. Um, but again, it does kind of make sense because they are kind of taking a break. They're kind of like... They're not exactly happy with their outcome so far. Like, sure, everything's great, and people from the outside can look at their life and be like, yeah, this is awesome. Like, what do you have to worry about? What are you sad about? But it's because they realize all of the things that they have, they didn't necessarily choose. That's basically what I'm getting. Like, maybe for once they have to take a break and actually make a decision, and, and that is what they're doing. It's maybe one of the first few times they really had to sit down and be like, whoa, I need to make a decision. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we have the goodbye card. Okay. We have a fossil down here. We have new spring-like birds up here. Um, and then obviously the bye. So something is going on in their life. They're deciding to let something go and choosing to make a move forward. What that is, I don't know. It depends on your situation. But this is where they are. And again, we have the blonde hair, right? So we have light hair coming through. Okay, the Nine of Swords... And the magician. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Okay, because so a new door opens every time you say goodbye to something else, right? When you close a door, you're in a new place, whether it's outside, inside. You're closing a door and putting yourself in a new place every time you walk through a door. Doors don't just close and you're just in a vast nowhere. You're somewhere new. And you can't look back. You're not going to go back into that old door, right? This is a new door opening up for this person. They are choosing to walk into a new environment, right? This is, and this could also mean you as well. You know, you have been manifesting this person. The magician is the card of manifesting. Um, and, and I feel like that is also what they are doing. They realize I have control over my life. Um, and before that, we have the Nine of Swords. So this is someone that, again, is not exactly happy. And, and uh, this depiction of it makes total sense for this reading. So we have the heart and the brain is like mixed in together, right? It's like feeding each other. They're connected. And then right here, we have myth. Right? So just because your mind is telling you everything's great, like I'm happy, I have no reason to feel lonely or I have no reason to have to go out of my safety zone, you know, um, your heart is telling you something else. I feel like that's going on with your person. I feel like they are realizing it doesn't necessarily translate to happiness and that you actually have to do the work and make that decision. Um, we do have this telephone here, so that could tell me that they might be making the move, right? Some sort of call, some sort of communication could be coming in. Uh, down here it says, I'm okay, you're okay. True, false, or other, right? And, and none of them are circled, so this is, this is where your person is. They are deciding, am I okay? Am, am I okay with not being with my person forever? Or I need to step out and I need to decide what brings me joy. And that person that's meant for me, my soulmate, is going to bring that. I need 
to evaluate my life, evaluate where I'm going. I need to find this person. Therefore, go through this new door, somewhere new. Because you haven't found them yet, right? They haven't found you yet, so this is where they're at. They have to step, step through this door. And then once they're in this new environment, that's where you guys will meet. You're already through that door. You're in that place. This person has not walked through that yet. Okay, so we have karmic relationship, okay? We have fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you, okay? So again, this is, there are things that are triggering your person that to make them realize this is not my path. This is a path that I was kind of just letting happen. I need to make decisions and go towards this karmic relationship, which is through this door. They got to let go. Letting go and loving you is the very last one, right? We have lessons in there. The hangman, the pondering. They're learning their lessons. They're realizing what works and what doesn't work. You are that pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. They're getting there, you know? Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords, and I'm just, I really use these cards really for the depictions, and again, we have not only blonde hair, but white hair. What did I say before? For some reason, it, because they have white hair as well in this picture, although it's black and white, but for some reason, I wanted to mention that, so this could be for someone who is in the older generation, you know, slightly older than me, where your your dating pool is going to be maybe graying a bit, maybe have some white hair, you know? So, um, again, just reiterating, this is for you, if that is for you, okay, that they are going to have white hair, okay, or blonde hair. Um, last but not least, I'll love you for as long as I live, Dolly Parton. So, again, soul mate, right? That's what, and uh, how funny is that, that it's like, Tying these two together, the karmic relationship and the door. That's what they're looking for. That's what they're, they want to find that. They want to find you. You, you're their person. You're the person that they want to love forever for as long as they live. They have that in them and they realize I'm not doing that. I don't feel fulfilled. I need to find you pretty much, right? Let's see. We can get clues and more traits about them. <gasps> okay, I love that one. Wants to send you a message. Ooh, and it's on top of this one. Right, 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 right. Okay, one more. Wears three red items frequently. Okay. We do have a lot of red, right? Oh my god, they have red pants, red robe, and red shoes. <laughs> That's three things. Didn't even pick that up. Okay, let's do our fun little cards just to see. I don't know. We're just going to see what it says. Okay, so it is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is a picture of a man in rain. Then there is a pot, and then he puts the pot on his head. Oh my god, I picked two. I didn't even realize that. Okay, so this person could like to smoke just a little bit, okay, because we do have a pot plus a head. <laughs> um, also, they could just mean creative. It could mean a problem solver, and just goofy in general. They could just have a funny sense of humor, right? Okay, and then this one says, pets take after their owners. Okay, so they do look kind of similar there. So maybe they do have a pet that is kind of similar to them, right? Okay. So I hope that was somewhat helpful. I don't know. I just find those cards a little funny. They're kind of goofy. Okay, so let's do some charms.
Are we in? Okay. Ooh, okay, so we have an H, an M, and an E. Okay, uh, we have the message in a bottle. Okay, so some sort of communication is coming through. Now, whether that's you or them, I really don't know. It depends on your situation, but that means that there is some sort of communication coming, and it kind of tells me that it's been a long time coming, right? Um, you don't just send out a message in a bottle and expect an answer tomorrow, right? This is a message that's been in the works for a long time. It's been on the way to you. It just hasn't happened yet. It's like right there, okay? Uh, we do have my little clear marble, okay? So that tells me um, it's, it's almost like you have some sort of intuition on who this person is. You have an inkling, whether or not you know it, or not, maybe it just hasn't really like presented itself to you yet, the, you know, the things that click together. But you have an idea of maybe who this person is or where they're going to come from. It's like if you really sat down and thought about it, the answer might come, but you just haven't done that yet. Maybe you're not supposed to know yet, but you have an idea of like who or what or how this person is coming, right? I don't... Not sure how that is possible, but that's what it's telling me that you kind of know, or you're really hoping that it's a certain person, and and it is that person, you know. Um, okay, so we have later. Mm, kind of goes along with this, right? It's on the way. Maybe this just launched, so it is going to take a little bit for it to come your way and to land on your shore at your feet. But it is coming. Later doesn't mean never. Later means it's on the way. It's coming. Just not right now. Right? Okay, so we have my very romantic token. That tells me this person's very romantic. It's like it's a man helping the woman over the puddle or over a step, right? Holding her hand, being very nice. Um, so to me, it tells me like respect a high amount of respect between you two. It's a very good working relationship. It's not one-sided. It's not 70-30, you know. It is 50-50. Uh, we also have my true love rose. This is, again, goes with this. It's very mutual. It's very um, on the same level. There's not, it, like, barely any arguments, I feel like. It, that is why it's taking so long, because it is, good things take a long time, right? You don't put banana bread ingredients into a microwave and ex this isn't a video game, right? Uh, you don't, it just doesn't just pop out. It takes a long time. It takes like an hour, maybe even more for it to cook and everything. It takes a while. It's not overnight, right? A good relationship. Okay, and then we have the eagle. Perfect ending. This is like a very powerful, confident, very no zooms in on what it wants and then dive bombs it okay so this is this person is on their way they have to make that decision they have to see you and zero in on you and then make that move right this is coming it's coming and it's a long time coming right okay and then boom there it is there it is all of this is here and this person has taken the time has studied you made sure that you're the person and then they're like done doing it you know and and they lived happily ever after okay let's get some words sorry I'm doing this in the middle of the day I live in a very busy corner that's why I try to do it at nighttime so it's quieter so just like, ignore the traffic Tigerness, tigerness, okay. From established wing, kind, remember, name, where else? Okay, went, oops, I dropped that one. Tell. 
and story. Okay, um, I hope that makes sense. We have Tiger Ness from Estimated or Established Wing. We have a wing there. Kind, remember name, went, tell story. Okay, that is what the universe wanted you to read, right? Okay, hope that makes sense. I like this. I like this last little sentence there. Okay, let's do a pendulum. We're just going to ask around what time shall this be happening? When, when, when? When will you meet them? When will this happen? If you already know them, you guys should know the drill. What is the answer? This week. Ooh, I like it when it's coming up. Okay, this week. So this message could be coming through. Okay, or it's going to be launched this week, right? This message in the bottle that will come later. But so this is a big week then, this week, right? So today is Sunday, so we have seven whole days for this whole week coming up. All right? So that is what I have for you guys. I'm pretty sure that's everything. So I hope that this helped. As always, if not, check another video, check another pile. Um, and... Comment, like, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys take care and have a good night. Hi, group two. Okay, we're gonna do the dice first. Let's see what we get. All right, so we have the pentacle card, okay? So we eliminate from lightest to darkest. So let's see, we have seven, 10, so 15. So we're gonna take out that last one. So we have 10 of pentacles. Okay, that is a really good card, you guys. That is like perfection. It's money matters, totally stable, good home, good house, good everything, good dinners every night, um, everything you need, right? Manicured lawn, everything that you what materialistically is going to happen with this person either that or they already have it or you do whatever it is you guys are going to have a really um safe comfortable life definitely like money and financial wise and i mean with that does come you know as long as it's with your soulmate that comes with ultimate happiness then you know you don't even have to worry or argue about money anything like that right so let's see what else we have, but that is awesome. So we have the Ten of Pentacles. Whoops, oh, this one goes first. It's on the top. Okay. Okay, awesome. Oh. Okay. I like this. So I feel like this person might have, they might be that person, right? Um, and you as well might you know, which is why you guys will get along, because you guys both have equal um, things to put into this relationship, even financially as well, okay? But we're talking about your person here. I feel like your person definitely is stable, right? They are the king of wands here. So not only does do people gravitate to them because of their personality, they're very passionate, creative, right? And uh, also like in the bed as well, okay? Um, but Money also gravitates to them as well. They are a king. You don't hear about poor kings. Kings have lots of money, right? There's a reason that they sit on their throne, in their castle, in their kingdom, okay? They have created an empire. So this person might already be very financially stable. But why are they just sitting there? They're just sitting there. Maybe at some point they realize, huh, Having all this and having no one to share it with isn't so fun. I'm kind of tired of going to the bars. I'm tired of just driving my fancy cars around. You know, I want someone to drive around with me. Um, someone substantial. Someone that matters to me. 
right? And then we have the Knight of Swords. So this tells me that this person will make a decision and then boom, they're coming, right? This is like an invasion. This person is like, like they're going so fast. This horse's face, he looks like worried. He's like, what, what, what's going on? You know, he's like, oh, like he doesn't have the most <laughs> focused face. He looks a little frightened. It's almost like he's going so fast that like his vehicle literally like can almost not even keep up. Like they're like doing it, you know, I'm going. Um, interesting, they're also facing this way. So that could tell me that they are from the west of you. Okay, so they are west of you, um, either in the city, in a country, it doesn't matter. Globally, they are to the west of you. And it could also tell me that they could be from the past. They're looking that way, right? Um, this one especially, it looks like they're almost looking backwards in a longing way. And this doesn't always mean that you dated this person and had an actual history with this person. You've met thousands of people throughout your life. I mean, when people tell me that, I think about like the six people that I can remember from my childhood, you know, and I'm like, nah, nah, nah. Until you realize like, oh, I've probably literally met like hundreds of thousands of people at this point in my life. Just every day every single day you come across new people um so it's it it could literally be someone from 20 years ago it could be someone that when you last knew them they were married and they were on their way to a vacation with four kids you know and now it's like they're totally in a different place maybe they their kids have moved out they changed religion and states or countries you know it doesn't matter they could be totally different from what you remember. So even if it is someone that you're thinking about and you're like, oh God, no, 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 never. Um, don't be so quick. Don't be so quick to say never, you know? Um, it also depends on how old you are as well. But anyway, this is possibly someone from your past, okay? Could be a fleeting moment from your past where they remembered you. You know, maybe it was a Facebook request from eight years ago, and that whole time they've been kind of like, wow, that person, I really like that person. You know, and slowly they've liked you more and more over the years. Something very small, you know, it doesn't have to be a grand old ex that took up eight years of your life. It could be someone very insignificant to you in your past, right? Um, let's keep going before I'm totally wrong. Hmm, okay. So we have the Four of Cups. Now, this one, it kind of tells me, um, one, I like that the moon is very, uh, you know, so one, it could be, again, like a secretive thing. Like this person could have had their eye on you for years and maybe they've been in a relationship, you've been in a relationship or you moved across country. It doesn't matter. We have social media now, you know, we have thousands of people just on our social media alone. I don't because I'm a loser, but most people do. Um, but this kind of tells me that there's something blocking these cups, right? The cups filled with everything they want, filled with emotion, emotional satisfaction, you know, filled with all the things that will quench their thirsts. Um, it's a bit secretive, and therefore something is blocking them, right? There's a pest. There's something in the way that they need to kind of just clear up. There's something in the way, and that could also be pertaining to you. Maybe you have something that they're kind of waiting for you to get rid of or something along those lines. Maybe you need to graduate or something. There, there's a lot of situations that could be going on, but that is what I'm seeing, that this is someone that's ready to move forward. There is something sort of blocking that emotional satisfaction. And it's a little bit secretive. And and because of that, I think. I think because there's some sort of blockage, it's not just going to be like, hey, you, hey, I really like you. You can't do anything about it, but I like you. You know, they're just going to kind of not tell you. That's what I'm getting. Okay? We have more moons, okay? And this is the, the different um, phases of the moon. So that tell we also have a clock here. It kind of tells me that this is either it's been in the works or it has taken time. It is going to take time. Um, it doesn't always have to tell me that because sometimes this also tells me that you will be happy and comfortable for a very long time. So take that how that card resonates because to me sometimes it, it's a comforting card. You know, you're very cozy. This is going to last a long time. This cozy feeling, you're comfortable and safe with this person. 
right? For many moons, many moons. So we have the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. I like this version of the Knight of Cups. Interesting that it's uh, underneath this Knight of Swords. It tells me like something is like in the works. Like they they're ready to go. They're they're like naively ready to go. Um so I like that it is following this one because this is the one where it's like really fast movement, like very restless. They want to go, 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 get this done. But again, we have this blockage, right? And so that's interesting that we have the, the Knight of Cups here. Now, this depiction, I like this because this is a little um, witch, but she's cuddling a cute little kitten here, a cat, right? Very loving. So it tells me that this person... I, this is interesting because this person does not seem to you to be that the person that you think you need, which is why maybe when you hear, oh, someone from your past, oh, no, 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 oh, God, no, right? Because you're remembering them in a different way. This tells me that they're not all as they seem to you. Maybe you had a bad impression of them or you took something they did the wrong way and you've put them in this box. And they're like, I... Oh, I, I put my tippy toe in that box one time. I am nothing like that person. But you remember them for that one time that they put their little tippy toe in that box, right? When they're not like that at all. But for some reason, that's how you remember them. It's telling me, because you don't think of a witch being all very nice and lovey, right? This tells me that she's a very kind lady. She just happens to dress like a witch sometimes, and you happen to catch her dressed as a witch, right? But... That, that, that's one moment in their life. The rest of them is perfect for you, right? Um, we have this little, like, they're very creative, okay? Knight of Cups is a very creative person. They're very, um, the way that they share their emotions and their love for someone is in a very creative way. They're the very um, hopeless romantic type, right? You know, because they're emotional, you know? They're, they have to be some sort of water sign, I feel like. And we do have the, the moon, Pisces, right? So very emotionally aware. They're very in tune with their emotions. They're not afraid of them. And therefore, it does make them a hopeless romantic because they're not afraid to be romantic. Um, so you, you're going to be pleasantly surprised when this person pops back into your life, right? If that's your situation. Um, because right now, I do feel like this... I'm kind of getting you as well in here, Okay that you're a bit confused. We have a maze here. We have a phone. We have a solution and a helpline here, but you're not paying attention. Um, this also could be your person, right? And you're like, N now what do I do? What do I do now? I'm all alone. I'm in this maze. What do I do? When the phone is right here, like some, you could just ask for help and someone will literally direct you out of this maze. But instead, you're like, no, 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 no. It's almost like, no, 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 no. I don't want that, that person from the past. No, 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 no when it's right there, like the thing that you're wanting so bad is literally right there, but for some reason you're like, no, 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 no. And it kind of doesn't necessarily make sense, but I feel like maybe that was the course. Maybe you needed to be like, no, 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 because they needed to work some stuff out, right? But I do feel like that's what's going on. Like, I feel like it's someone that is going to pleasantly surprise you. They're going to pop back in. You're going to be like, whoa, whoa. Whoa, this whole time you've been like, awesome, because I did not know that. Okay, that is like super strong in this. Okay, so we have the runner. So we have runner and codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. I feel like that could have been the problem this whole time. And again, it could be you as well holding this back, listening to your ego. Because you're like, no, 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 I'm way better. No, not even going to give him a chance. When you're, you're giving that way too much value, when you're, instead of listening to the universe, instead of listening to the all-knowing universe that knows exactly what you need, you're like, no, mm-mm, thank you, next. And the universe is just going to keep trying to give them to you then because... This is what you need. So it could be you literally holding this up. 
you could be the one blocking these cups. You could be the one stopping this person who's like ready to go. And you're like, no, 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 I don't want a witch. Mm -mm. When they're like literally perfect for you, right? They're creative, they're loving, they're funny, they're everything you need. But that one time they were dressed like a witch, so you, you can't do it. See what I'm saying? Like, I know that sounds ridiculous, you know, but I'm saying that because we have this depiction here. Obviously, most people don't dress like witches. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we have the Fool card, and I really like this, and that is, wow, okay, look how similar it is to this little person here. They even have the two little ears, and we have the two scarves, they're both facing the same way, that's really interesting. And it tells me that even though, look at that, all three of these are all running this way, right, going forward. So now, what are you going to do? Are you going to go forward? Or are you going to keep looking backwards, right? And just keep being like, no, no, I don't want any, I'm not even going to try. When you cut, you're, you're moving, right? This is in a little vehicle. She's got wheels on her, for God's sake. All someone has to do is just kind of push and you'll, she'll just cruise now, you know? So maybe this is saying, you know, it's, it's happening. It's whether or not you allow it to happen faster or slower. Are you going to get in the way or are you going to allow and be receptive to gifts that the universe is trying to give you, right? Um, and so, you know, and it is the fool card. So maybe it's saying, you know, step out of your boundary, step out of your safe little cube that you've decided that you're in and that other people are in and you can't intermix cubes, right? To you, that's what you feel like when, if you put all the cubes together and you look from far away, it creates a picture, you know? It's like the little pixels. If you zoom out, you'll see that you actually belong in the same picture. That you're, you've just put yourself into a little pixel and decided, I'm not going, not going. We don't mix, right? Maybe this is saying, take a chance. Take a step out of that boundary. Take that leap of faith, right? And go forward. Allow yourself to move forward. Don't be your own burden. And then last but not least, we have John Mayer. So we have, even if your hands are shaking and your faith is broken, even as your eyes are closing, do it with a heart wide open. What did I just say? What did I just say? Even if you're scared, even if your hands are shaking and your faith is broken, you don't think that this is the right path. You, you know what you need. This isn't it. Just give it a chance. Do it with a heart wide open. Take this leap with a heart wide open. Don't take it and think, see, I know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna land on a pile of rocks. Then guess what? You're gonna land on a pile of rocks. If you jump and you believe you can fly, there, you have a way higher chance of flying. Right? Just saying. Let's see if we can get any fun little traits or personality traits about them? Spend their money quickly. Now, you can't spend money quickly if you don't have it, right? King of Wands, King of Wands. They have money, they know what they want, and they spend it. So it doesn't always mean bad, you know? Oh, your paths will cross after you make a final decision. Decide. Make a decision to let go of your preconceived notions of who is right for you. This person cannot come into your life if you aren't willing to accept them in your life. You have to accept them. How is someone going to come into your house and have a conversation with you if you never open that door? You will never have that conversation. I'm not saying open your house to strangers. But I'm, that's metaphorically, okay? Be safe out there. Okay? So let's see what our fun little goofy cards have to say. <laughs> it's a random decks of cards, so I'm like, you know what? Let's throw them in there. It's fun. We already got this one. 
we, the last group got this, so that is interesting, okay? I'm not going to pull a new one. I mean, I shuffled them and everything in between. Just shuffle them now. Um, pets take after their owners. Why did this card come up twice in the two times I've... Nobody knows, okay? Pets take after their owners. So this person could have a pet, and they could legitimately be very similar to them. Like, maybe they, like have the same hair color, like almost the same like style, you know, like if they have like curly hair, maybe they have a curly haired dog, you know. Um, so keep your eye out for that. I know it's a goofy little, but it is funny that pets take after their owners, you know, not owners take after their pets. <laughs> Sometimes it's the other way around. Okay, you guys, so that's a fun little clue there. Now let's get some charms. any letters whoa that doesn't happen okay so this wasn't directly facing north or south or anything right so I just use it as a this is like a compass okay and it also can mean a wish a star is always a wish you wish upon a star you know this is something that you have been wanting why are you watching this video because you want your future spouse this is your person this is a wish and I feel like this is a because it's also encircled right so it's like the same wish that you've had, you've had, you've had, you've been thinking about this and wanting this, and it's just going to keep going until you, what? Open your heart. Open your heart and take that leap of faith, okay? Uh, we do have a heart here, okay? So that just reiterates true love to me. That's really the only thing that that tells me. Um, so when it obviously comes up in a future spouse reading, it's just, yeah, obviously they're gonna love you um okay so we have a little busy bee uh oh his face got smushed okay so one they could have a bee in their name like bobby or brian you know something you know barbara um but it also tells me busy okay a king king of wands right um you also had the nine of pentacles or the ten of pentacles right and the dice so this is someone that's been very busy they've been getting all of their honey. They've been making all the honey. They've been making that hive, you know? They've got the hive, you know? They've got the workers. They've got the bees. You know, all they need is the queen, right? They have everything except the main thing that they want. They've created a whole world without the main queen. That is what they're looking for. You are their queen, right? And it doesn't mean that you're female, you know what I'm saying? But Metaphorically, you are the missing link in this whole entire picture. They got a whole community going on of bees without the main bee, right? Oh, and then we, have, oh, okay, so we have a lot of like springtime, springtime, okay? So we got ladybugs, bees, we got baby lambs, okay? So baby lambs also kind of tell me like Easter as well, which is coming up. So this could be very soon that this is happening, very spring-like, right? Maybe late spring, early summer, something like that. Getting a little time frame here, okay? But it could also mean this tells me like a fresh step, new beginning, right? pure white um, and then this is also lucky but to me that is telling me a time frame it's telling me springtime late springtime early summer okay uh, we do have this little iron now to me that tells me that things need to be wrinkled out a little bit right we need to air dry some stuff put it out in the in the fresh air let it dry let it get crisp nice and fresh linens for us you know we are spring cleaning in a sense in our life okay so maybe this is what that person's doing and maybe maybe you are needing to do that too you need to sage the house you know what i'm saying open the windows clean out clutter get rid of the stuff let the dust out the window you know shake off that dust because um if you keep living in that same life, then, then things aren't going to come in. If you don't make room for new energy, 
how is new energy going to come in? You got to clear out that bad energy, right? I feel like we got to iron out all the wrinkles, make it smooth in our life, a smooth transition for this person to come in. Uh, we do have a little bucket, and to me, this tells me a well, right? We're dipping in and we're getting what we need. Now, what is missing? The well. You can have the bucket, but without that well, you're never gonna quench your thirst. You've got to find that well and take that leap of faith and put that bucket in and get what you deserve. Normally, that doesn't tell me that. I'm feeling that right now because remember, we we're talking about quenching the thirst. We're things that we want. If we don't go looking for that well, how are you going to fill up that bucket? How? How? How are you ever going to quench your thirst? Set it outside and wait for some raindrops to fall in there? Just hoped. Hope and pray. That's not going to happen. You need to go looking. You have the tools, right? Okay, so this is my cycle. What was I saying about this? We have a cycle here, a cycle of keep wishing and keep wishing, but no action. No action. We've got to do some of the work in order for this person to come in. You've got to make room for this person. Or they can't come in. So we have a vicious cycle going on, a cycle, right? And last but not least, we have a chariot token, the bicycle. Now, to me, it's obviously slower than a speedboat, slower than, you know, an airplane, but it's on the way, and it's forward motion, forward. No looking back. We're going forward, okay? This is something on the way. Whether you want them to be on, you know, the lowest gear or the highest gear is up to you. You have to tell the universe, hey, I'm getting ready. Hey, hey, pretty soon I'm going to have room for this person. So, you know, get them standing up, moving those muscles. They got to come. If you're just sitting there stagnant, this person is going to be sitting at a cross rock forever, waiting for the light to change. And the light's never going to change. You have to tell the universe, I'm ready, right? I'm ready for this person. I feel like the thing stopping this relationship for group number two is possibly you. If not, um, it could be your other person, but I feel like it's, it's, it is you, if not both of you, okay? So let's get some words. If it says go on, then that would just be really weird. No, okay. <laughs> so we have no A. A. What? Okay. Why? No A. Bird. No. Okay. We have lots of weird letters this time. We didn't have any letters, so maybe that's why. Maybe they're popping up. R, either a lowercase L, but I believe that's an I. I think that's an I. I say put. Okay, that's all of them. Play, must, no, A, A, Y. Okay, so you know this could be for you. Maybe you know someone with a name similar, something like that, right? Bird new. Mm. R I say put. All right, that is what the universe wanted you to know. Okay, I don't try to look into these words too much. It's up for you to decide. Okay, let's do the pendulum. We're gonna ask when are they coming? We're tired of waiting. So when are they either coming into your life or when will it begin? If you, you know, if you already know this person, then when will it begin? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh, it was almost this week. Last group we got this week. One year. Okay. I know that that isn't the best answer. I know that we want it like right now, but 
maybe you've got a lot of dust to clear up, you know, maybe you've got a lot of, maybe you want to, you know, start that business first, you know, get that off the ground a little bit before you get distracted by something, you know, maybe you want to lose that weight, maybe you want to move into that better place or move out of this terrible place, whatever it is. So there, we're not always in the position for stuff to happen right now, right? So again, that might be what it's talking about, that this is going to be also on your part. If you're just going to sit there and wait for it to happen, then it's going to be even longer than one year, right? Uh, you need to do the work. If you want a specific person, then you have to, it's like what they say, dress for the job you want. If you want to be an accountant and you're wearing a bathing suit every day, people aren't going to assume that you're an accountant. You have to dress for the job you want. You have to dress for the life you want. If you want someone magical to come in here with all this money and you live like a bum, that's probably not the best situation for you to be in because that person is not going to see you as an equal, even if you are, because you're not representing yourself truly to the world, who you really are and what dreams you have for yourself. Does that make sense? I hope that it does because that's it. That is what I get from this entire reading, is that you could possibly be that burden. At first I thought maybe it was a burden, but I feel like it's it's it might be you. I think that you, and it could be a two-way street. Maybe you're both in the same position, right? And both of you have to do a little bit of work to really be at each other's equal, okay? So I hope that that helped you. If not, as always, check out other videos or another... Uh, group on this reading. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe it helps me a whole bunch. And um, take care and have a good night. Hi, group three. So let's do our dice first. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we have the Major Arcana, and so we do lightest to darkest is what we take out if it gets too high. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, so we have 14, okay? So we don't have to eliminate anything. So that is, um, 14 is the Temperance card. Okay, so this tells me that there needs to be a bit of patience going on here. So I feel like maybe um, on your end, I'm feeling like you're very restless for this. Maybe you've been getting kind of depressed over this. Like maybe you're like, dude, I don't know what more to do. I am at my place. I feel like I, I don't know what else to do to get this person to see me. Like what more do I need to do to prove to this person that I'm like perfect for you <laughs> and that you're perfect for me, right? So this is probably for the group of you that has an idea of who this person is. Let's see what else we have because I, I could be like way wrong here, but that is what Temperance is telling me that like you just need to have a little bit more patience and like for real your patience is like wearing real thin right now. <laughs> Um, let's see if we have some good news going on. <sighs> okay. So, <laughs> kind of still makes sense for me. Okay. So, this card to me tells me someone has caught your eye. This could also be the other way around. Maybe you've caught someone's eye, but I'm just going to go with, like, from, from your side. I feel like someone has caught your eye so much so that like the environment around you is now reflecting how perfect this person could be for you right if i i can just imagine this person right here right here everything would they would just fit right right here right um because it's like you know the pentacles yellow now the sky is yellow it's like everything has a yellow hue now like everything has a your person hue now right because this person has sparked your interest you're just standing in the middle of a field just staring at this pentacle like, oh, if only, if only, right? And then here's your person. At least this is how you feel. I feel like this is how you feel. 
that this person is just like this doofus sitting here, not even seeing you, not even paying attention to you. Like, you're like, hello, I'm holding this shiny object right in front of you, the thing that you want, which is me. I'm perfect. We're perfect for each other. And they're like, hmm, I see nothing. Um, they have a blindfold on, you know. The Two of Swords normally means that it's a, uh, a um, what's it, like um, a willing, like you put this blindfold on yourself, right? So I feel like your person is just deciding to like not see you. They're just not even looking. They're just deciding to literally not, they're just blind. Like I'm just choosing to be blind to the things right in front of my face, right? I also see a why, okay? So that could be significant to you. That is what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like this person, you are like heck bent, right? Not supposed to swear. Uh, on this person, this shiny object that's caught your eye. And this person, no matter what you do, how are they going to see you if their eyes and their ears have been covered, right? No matter what you do, you could be doing cartwheels, you could be doing magic tricks, you could be slaying an actual real live dragon in front of them, and they'll be like, who? Right? Because it doesn't matter what you do. They are not ready to see you. They are not ready for you yet. That is the problem. And I know it sucks. It's an easy way to be like, well, sorry, they're just not ready. And I know it's like a terrible answer, but that is what's going on. They are something has caused them to become blind to that thing in front of in front of them which is you okay so something is going on i also always think this is so weird <laughs> that she has neon yellow shoes right <laughs> like why like she could like i don't know it's just like a weird <laughs> shoe color choice so there's something about yellow shoes, maybe, because it's just, it's funny to me that she has neon yellow shoes in this picture. Let's see what else we have. The Mother of Swords. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, you guys. <laughs> okay, look at this picture, right? Is that showing? Let's see. Do you see the owl's face? Look at that resting bee face, right? I swear to god, that is you. Literally, like, okay, you like swords, huh? You like swords? Here's a sword. You're literally putting yourself on top of their favorite thing, right? Staring directly at them, waiting, you know? And nothing's happening. Like, this is you, like, hello, hello, like, everything. I am beautiful and majestic. I have night vision, for God's sakes. I always get what I want, you know? I zero in and I get it. I'm everything you need. You're not seeing me. You're literally, I feel like you've planted yourself on this sword, staring directly at this person, just like, are you serious right now? What? I'm just going to sit here. I don't know what else to do. Just going to sit here and wait, I guess. I That is totally you right now. You are like, what are you doing? Oh, hello, I'm right here. I'm perfect for you. We're perfect for each other. Yeah, you don't care at all. Cool. Cool, cool. You know? Yeah, okay. I feel like this is you again. So you are... You're like, hi, I've slayed my foes, right? I've, I've sculpted my own statue of myself commemorating this. Planted it in front of you. I have money flying around me at all times. You know, I've done everything I need to do for God's sake, yet you don't care at all. You don't see me. You don't see me. What more do I need to do? And that's just it. You can't do anything more. That's the thing. You are exactly what they need. You are it. You don't need to do any more work. They need to open their eyes. They need to take that blindfold off of their eyes and their ears. Put down the weapons, you know. Stand up on their neon yellow shoes and look around at the world. And then they will see you right in front of them. Eyes wide open like, finally, finally you see me, you know. You're just waiting. It's like, it's, it's, oh, it feels so... 
annoying. Like, you just want to just wake them up, slap them out of their sleep, you know? But there's nothing you can do because in the end, you're not actually standing in front of them, in front of this water. You know, you have to do this from your place in the universe and it's frustrating because you just have to kind of wait for them to come around to realize like oh yeah I should probably like look around right <laughs> okay mm, okay so we have the sun card so that is good you guys the sun card means the outcome will be positive okay it's directly underneath this blind oblivious card here once they open that blindfold they lay down their weapons the sun will come out right they're gonna they're oh yeah whoops i forgot the sun existed i've been living at nighttime for years in this blindfold right they're gonna be like oh yeah like i forgot that i like this is the thing i wanted this whole time and it will happen and it includes you you are part of that future okay i feel like right now this is where you're at, and this is where your person is at too, I feel like, okay? You're kind of just like in this fishbowl, just waiting for something to happen. Like, they barely gave you enough. This water is half filled up. Like, what kind of who, what kind of fish owner is this anyway, you know? Like, at least fill the freaking tank all the way up, for God's sakes. Give him a fake plant, you know? It's just a goldfish just by himself, just like swimming in circles. Because where are you going to go? You know what you want. You're not going to go searching down another path for something. You know what path to be. You've been on the end of this path waiting, staring at this person, right? And so what are you going to do? You're just going to kind of just wait. You're kind of just in this waiting mode. You're kind of feeling down. You feel like no matter what I do, it's never good enough. No matter what I say, it's never funny enough. It's never interesting. No matter what I do, it's never gets me to that solution, that thing that I want. But this is saying it will. It's basically just validating what you feel. This is telling me it's very aware of, of you being ready, of this person being blind to it. They're the universe, your spirit, whatever is in charge, is telling you it's aware. And it, it sympathizes, but it's also telling you it gets better. It knows, and it will get better, okay? You know, we have three butterflies, we have a new beginning, okay? The three of swords becomes a whole new world. So just because you feel like you're in this corner, you've been back into this corner, you have nowhere else to go, you don't want to go anywhere else, it's telling you it will, you will take flight, you can leave this corner, you can leave this box and escape. It will give you the tools, okay? Meanwhile, just sit on your beautiful, majestic perch that you've created and just, it sucks, but you have to have faith. You have to have faith in the universe, okay? Okay, so we have Cupid's arrow. I like that, all right? Uh, this could possibly be referring to you. I feel like you've been struck by the arrow and you're like, why hasn't Cupid struck my person with the arrow? Well, thanks. Thanks, Cupid. Thanks for sh shooting me in the butt and then taking a break for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh why didn't you shoot them? Thank you so much. Right? I feel like that's how you feel. But here we have, have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. How come I don't remember that being on that card? But okay. Surprise invitation or meeting and hesitation. Okay, so the hesitation could be on your part, on their part, possibly on their part, most likely. You know, they haven't seen the sunshine in 17 years, okay? Uh, so I feel like, and it, may, it could be you as well. Maybe you're like, you know what, I, I've been waiting so long. Like, is this even right? Like, shouldn't this have happened before? Now I'm, now I'm second-guessing everything, right? Um, but Cupid's arrow has a way of magically making everything okay. Right? So just because you've been struck doesn't mean that that person's never going to be struck. C apparently, Cupid just took a break. Okay? They're going to strike them with the arrow soon. Have faith. Love is coming. Okay? Okay. So I always take this one as like hair color and visual. I just, I, that's how I see these little cards for some reason. So um, I do feel like they might have lighter hair. Although they have dark hair in these two, then we have kind of a mix. So, 
I don't really know. I, it could, it might not matter, okay? Because maybe, I think, I don't think it's really giving us physical clues too much in this one. I really don't have a lot. Um, we don't have a lot. Uh, because I feel like you already totally know who this person is. You totally know who this person is, so it doesn't matter. Like, describing them isn't going to help because you're like, yeah, I know. I know who this person is. Uh, so this is definitely for someone who is, like, love struck on someone pretty pro pretty positive that this is the person for you and you don't know why they don't see you okay last but not least we have metallica okay so we have trust i seek and i find in you every day for us something new open mind for a different view and interesting that it's on these cards here so we have a not open mind right there is no different view it's black it's void there's nothing uh, I think this is they need to open their mind open their eyes and have a different view they're they're just not seeing you yet once they are open to that they will see you because you will be in the horizon you will be there right there okay let's see what any traits we could have help us out all right so they have a severe allergy okay so that could be something that you already know about or you will find out so that'll just be validation for you and their first name begins with a vowel. Okay. Uh, we also have this Y, right? Y is sometimes considered a vowel, okay? So keep that in mind. We also have these fun little nonsense cards. So let's see if we get anything for this. Okay. <sighs> What? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it says, if you can't see them, they can't see you. And it's a little goofy guy hiding behind like a briefcase or just like a piece of paper or something. Clearly not hiding his entire body, right? But it's like when a little kid just hides their eyes and they think that they've become invisible, you know, because they can't see you. I. That is so funny. I feel like that might be what they think that like if if they can't if I can't see them then they can't see me but what they're gonna find out is like the minute they take that blindfold off and uncover their eyes they're gonna be like oh that person totally saw me this whole time <laughs> that is so funny so take that however you want okay so like if you wow it's getting so windy outside do you hear that uh, we're gonna die it's a tornado Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, things are like falling over outside. Oh my gosh, that's really scary. Okay, but little do they know that you're literally staring at them, waiting for them. Like, yeah, still love you. Still love you, buddy. <laughs> Even though you don't know who I am. <laughs> okay, so there are cards. Let's get some charms. Okay, not a lot. There were larger ones in that handful. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so we have um, Sandy. Okay. She's a squirrel and she's from Texas. Alright, so maybe that means something to you. Maybe they are from Texas. Okay. Um, they could really like squirrels. I'm not really sure about that, but uh, normally sandy is like the smart one right sandy is the scientist she builds rockets you know she she builds inventions and things um so and, and she's she's very down to earth yet very smart right so maybe that's a trait of your person maybe they um 
are always creating something new. They're very like new age, maybe they're modern, you know, maybe they just come up with new little innovations and maybe they're just um, always coming up with ideas. They don't actually have to be, you know, creating rocket ships, but maybe they just come up with fun little ideas. They're very creative um, and very open, right? And, you know, that could be maybe why they've been so blind, right? I mean, like, you, they could just be really busy. And they just are so focused on their work and their new idea or their new thing that they're building that um, they just aren't aware of, of what they're lacking and what their soul is wanting, right? And they just keep staying focused on work, okay? Um, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so the Queen of Wands is actually a really good card. So I feel like you've been harvesting. You've been creating abundance. You've been doing all of these things. You are the queen. Now, what is a queen always missing? The queen is missing her other half, the king. Okay, doesn't mean that you're the female and they're the... It doesn't matter. But in that scenario, if you are the queen, you're looking for your partner, right? So if, you know, did we get any, what did we have? Okay, no, we didn't get any kings in this one. But that is essentially what you're looking for, right? Except your king is blind right now. Your king is building a rocket ship in Bikini Bottom, you know? They have no idea that you're, like, totally dreaming about them every day. They just don't know. And you, again, like I said, you could be doing jumping jacks in front of them, cartwheels, you know, it doesn't matter if they can't see or hear you. They're just not going to know. So it's like you're just kind of waiting. I, uh, but in the meantime, you know, you have created an awesome life. And you should be, you are a freaking queen, okay? You should be enjoying your queenly life that you've created. You don't have to sit there and wait for a king to come along to enjoy it. You've made this. Enjoy it. Stop staring at this guy, you know, all salty, a salty owl, you know, just staring you got to just, and maybe that is, you know, maybe you need to get a move on here. Maybe you need to just kind of get out of their space and focus on you, you know. Um, so we have the Eiffel Tower, okay. So they could be like French, right. Uh, they could have some sort of, like maybe a French last name, something like that. Um, it also just means like traveling. It's obviously like a travel destination. It's a landmark. So it does tell me, you know, kind of just traveling and doing their thing. So that also could be why they really aren't focusing. They're not seeing you. They're just very busy. They're traveling. They're meeting people. They're doing these things in order to get their life in order. Okay. We have the Pegasus. Let's see. We have lots of little animals. So we have the teddy bear, we have the frog, and then we have the cat. Okay. Wow. We have a lot of animals going on. We have a squirrel, we have a horse, we have a bear, we have a frog, and then we have a cat. Now, separately they all mean something, but all of that together kind of tells me zoo. It, um, I feel like your person isn't just sitting there on the shore, just blind, just like sitting there doing nothing like a doofus, you know, like I said earlier. I mean, you feel like they're just a doofus, right? Because they're like not seeing you at all. But um, maybe their house is just very busy. Their life is very busy. When they come home, they can't just relax and just see you. They're just always, their mind is like buried in something, in their work. It's just kind of all kind of like a zoo in their mind, you know, lots of different things, different needs, different priorities going on. Um, it will settle down, obviously, but this could be the reason why they're not there yet, right? Um, so we have the Pegasus. Now, that tells me that something is turning into something much bigger than itself, right? Pegasus technically turned into an actual constellation, okay? So this is something that will last a very long time. Constellations don't die in five years, right? They're there for a very long time. Um, so it's something written in the stars. There is something that you are stuck on it being the Pegasus right now, a tangible, actual thing, when in reality, it will become something very permanent, okay? Uh, we have the teddy bear. That tells me ultimate comfort, ultimate safety, ultimate um, 
cuddle bear, you know? This is the person that you've been waiting for, someone to cuddle with, someone to feel fuzzy and warm with, you know? They are on the way. This is the universe is saying, I get you, I hear you, I'm, I'm sending them, okay? Uh, we have the frog. You will get that fly, like you will. You are ready, you are pounced. Like, look at this, he is ready to jump, you know? He's not just laying there upside down, you know, he's not chilling on a leaf. He is alert and ready to pounce. I feel like that's you, like you're ready to pounce and suck up that little fly of yours, right? Your person. You just have to wait just a little bit. It's acknowledging, again, that you are ready. It's aware that you're ready. They just can't force someone to be ready for you, right? But they are acknowledging you are right on the right path, okay? You're not doing anything wrong here. Uh, and then I like how it ends. So it ends with the surprise, okay? We have a surprise coming. This is probably your person, probably communicating or coming into your life finally and it will probably be right at the moment when you decide, you know what, I'm tired of just kind of just being ready. Like, you know, I'm going to go be the queen that I am. I'm going to, like, l let my hamstrings ease up, okay? We're not ready to pounce all the time. And I'm going to enjoy my life. I'm going to enjoy the abundance that I've created for myself, right? And that is when you'll get a surprise. You will realize, oh, there they are. I, I could have just not spent all of this time staring at them ferociously waiting. You know, I could have just enjoyed my life because there was nothing I could do about it. There's nothing I can do about it to make them come faster. Okay? And this tells me it will be a surprise. You'll be like, oh my god, oh, there you are, finally, right when I'm done with you, you know? So, take that, how it resonates. It is aware of your situation, it's aware your person is blind right now to you, it's working on it. It's working on it in the background, okay? It's sending them your way, don't you worry. Okay, so let's get some words. Maybe you have to see your life as well. Thank the universe for your queenly position that you've created. Maybe you need to thank a friend for helping you. Maybe your friend is the person that you've been staring at, you know? We have ecstasy, always good. Her, our, get. So uh, that is for you. Let's get a pendulum. Let's see. When is this going to happen? If you already know them, you know, obviously you know them because you're staring at them with those big old owl eyes. Um, we need to know when this person is going to take off their blindfold. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, are we staying? Are we staying? All right, looks like we're staying there. Okay, so we have one week. Okay, so not this week. So in one week from whenever you watch this, okay, that is what it's telling me. Doesn't mean that they're automatically going to say hello to you immediately, but that is the beginning of it. They have finally taken off their blindfold. They're going to have to take a while to reassess their environment, see where the heck they've been for this long where they are in life and then they will see you okay so however long that takes for them to readjust their eyes you know they haven't seen daylight in how many years days month who knows right 
So in one week, it seems like things will be changing. This, this situation you've been in for a very long time is about to change, okay? So that is what I have for you guys. I hope that that helped. I hope it was fun. Um, as always, check out other videos if this didn't resonate with you at all. Uh, comment, like, subscribe helps me a whole bunch. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good night, and take care.